welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel, This Fly Life, where we discuss everything Disney and living the lounge fly lifestyle. So you guys, this time in this video, I have a battle, a pen battle. <laughs> so I saw all of my friends opening up their pink Alamo pens. So if you didn't know, Pink Alamo or Palm has been running these promotions where they have mystery pins that include pins that have not been released. They have included three inch pins, blind box pins, all different kinds of pins from their website. Exclusives, limited editions. They had two different sizes. They had a $50 size and a $100 size. They don't push them both at the same time. So you, it's either one or the other. So they have done the $100 option several times it sold out. The $50 option several times it sold out. So I was watching all of the videos where people were opening the $100 um mystery bags and i was like goodness those there were some nice pins in there and it the value had to be way over a hundred dollars so i said well next time they do it i'm gonna try my luck so i did but only after i purchased the 50 dollar one so the 50 dollar one came up first and i did that one and about a week later the hundred dollar option came up and i was like <laughs> So anyways, I tried both. And since I have both, I said, okay, let's do a battle. So let's see what pins we like best out of each packet. I'm going to tell y'all full disclosure, I've already looked. And that's all I'm going to say about that. <laughs> so in this bag, you guys, we have our $50 option. And so... It comes in this little baggie like this. Uh-oh, y'all see what's in here on some of them. So this one came with two pins. So we have two three-inch pins. And we have a 100, Disney 100 mystery box. So a blind box. It's a 12-pin collection. This is currently available on the site. I don't see, I know there are two volumes, I think. This one, I don't see where it says volume one or two, so I don't know which we have. So, we have this pin, which is the mini pin. So, it says Princess Mini. It's a three-inch pin. I know it's limited edition. Has a uh, gold trimming. Um, some looks like almost marble effect in the background. Many, um, her um, gown she has on has some glitter in it, but it's primarily a gold trim pen. It's a really pretty pen, just not something that I would have purchased for myself. And usually the um, pink a la mode pens are limited edition to three or four hundred. This one is limited edition to three hundred. So that's this first one. Then our second pin, you guys, is, uh, is this a king? Yeah. It says king of the castle, and it says night Mickey. So, again, neither one of these would be pins that I probably would have purchased on my own. I know that usually these pins range $25 to $30 a piece, so we got, we're going to take a look at that at what the range is on the site. But I'm sure between these three pins, the value is definitely over um, $50. And this one is also a limited edition 300. And Mickey, he is also trimmed in gold. So I really like that. And the um, crown and then um, his helmet all has glitter. And the crown has glitter as well. So it's a really pretty pen. Again, just not something that I probably would have purchased for myself. So, what y'all think? I mean, I think if it had been two other pens, maybe that I liked, or not that I liked, or that I collected, or that I don't have in my collection, I should say, I probably would have been a little, little bit more ecstatic. I was kind of excited that they match. So I love that. And then um, we have our 
100 pin. And there are a bunch of these, but on this one, uh, looks like we could get Woody, Alice, Pooh, Donald, Tiana, Bambi, Tinkerbell, Snow White, Pocahontas, Cinderella, Belle, or Elsa. So, I would be happy with any of them except Pooh, Bambi, and Elsa, maybe. So, I don't collect really any of those. So, let's see what we got. Oh, there's two in here, you guys. Well, that's nice. That made me a little bit happier. <laughs> so, let's see what we got. I'm going to just go ahead and cut both of these open. And let's see what we got. Oh, this says limited edition 500. I took the pen off the back. Let's see who we got. Pocahontas. <laughs> oh, my. Well, there you have it. Let's see who the other one is. Snow White. So, hmm, this was a me. They're the pretty pins. Just, you know, I'd be wanting my Belle and Tiana. I'm glad to see these in person, though. Um, because it definitely helps to kind of know what they look like if you want to collect these. So that's another good thing with doing, kind of doing that blind box. Okay, so just to recap, our $50, we had Princess Minnie, we had Night Mickey, and we had Snow White and Pocahontas. $50. All right, so our next package came like this. And of course, you get a way bigger stack. So in this one, kind of that same deal with the package, the bubble wrap. So right off the bat, oh, this is new. This is brand new. So I think this just dropped mm, maybe a day or two ago. So we'll see what that looks like. Then we have another 100 series. So we had two different ones because this one you could get Goofy, Mickey, Minnie, uh, Ariel, Aurora, Milan, Nemo, Coco, Why I can't think of it. Oh, The Lion King. <laughs> Hercules, Pinocchio, and Dumbo. So we'll open these up last and see what we got. But we have two blind boxes. We have, which I have some of these. So I know this is a villain's pen. And we have three, three inch pens. I can tell you. Off the bat, I'll show you this one first because it's a dupe. I already have this in my collection. So that's Jasmine. And so to keep from taking this one out of the pack, this is what she looks like. So really pretty. I'd have been excited to get this had I not already had it. But that's the chance you take with these blind boxes. The next one I have is something else that I don't collect. But it's a pretty pen, but not something that I collect. And it is this Bambi 3-inch pen. So I'm sure this one is limited edition as well. But it's cute. It's got Bambi and Thumper Flower. It's cute, but not nothing I collect. So the next pen we have is another three inch and this one you guys is from the um prince line and it is john smith from pocahontas which again i don't really collect 
so I'm not too excited about getting that one. It's a nice pen again, so kind of like, you know, I don't want to take it off the back, but they're 300 and it has that stained glass effect, just like Jasmine. So they are really pretty pens if you collect these. It's just not one that I collect. But I could put it um, with my Pocahontas sequin bag. I could display it on the shelf like I do some of my 3-inch pens. So not a complete loss. So this one, and again, I don't know, you guys, the villain. She's sitting over there. So this is a dupe too for me. So needless to say... Both of these were a complete bust for me um, as far as like what was included. I think that, again, if you didn't have any of these pens and you wanted to add some three inch pens, it would be a great way to do it just because of the price. So it wasn't like a one of those, like I was like super excited watching some of my other pen friends open their um, mystery packs. I mean, they were like amazing. But this... Mm, I think I almost feel like um, they did a flood of some really great pens and really great um, bags to kind of get the buzz out there to get people to purchase. And then now it's like all of the overflow they're trying to get rid of or, or things that weren't selling or weren't as popular. Uh, that's what I feel like that all, everything I got here was the things that aren't as popular. Just my opinion. So let's go ahead and open our blind boxes. And so this one, we're going to start with this 100 that had these characters on them. And like I said, you guys, I don't know which volume it is. I know they have several. Um, but after opening these, we'll have four. So hopefully no dupes, but we'll see. So our first one, you guys, is Nemo. So again, really cute pen, but not nothing I collect. So we like batting a thousand on this. Oh, well, this one is good. So, so we have Mulan here. That's really cute. I like the extension over the top. So that's cute. So that's Mulan. And then we'll get to this. Now, I have not seen any of these yet. But looking at this box, I know it's only one in here. Um, but I thought just looking at the website, the way they had the pen displayed, I thought they were going to be like huge. It feels kind of big, but not that I, I thought the, the set, cause it's a, like a puzzle piece thing. I thought it was going to be huge, but in this you could get Mickey, Simba, Snow White, Elsa, Tiana, and Woody. And I'll show you a picture of what it looks like together. But it's actually like a puzzle piece almost. But I'm glad I saw this because I'm shocked by the size. And so either I can tell I have Woody or, Tian or, Woody or Snow White. And we have Woody. It's really pretty though. Sparkly. But again, nothing I collect. So really pretty pen. But definitely smaller than I thought in comparison to what we thought the picture was going to look like. But it's really pretty, though. I will give them that. But I would have loved to have had Tiana or Snow White, even. But anyways, guys, that's there we have it. So in this one, we had... Three, three inch pens, limited edition. This is $90 right here, right? Then we had Ursula, which I think this is 30 or 25 or something. So already we're over a hundred. So in my opinion, and you know, when you do the math, I think the hundred dollar set, I feel like, you know, barring which pens we got, but just looking at value, I feel like we got um, probably maybe fifty to sixty dollar overage versus the fifty dollar one. You may have had a fifteen dollar overage. So 
I think, you know, had these been some different pens, or like I said, maybe ones that weren't in my collection, or newer pens that were newly released, then I probably would have been a little bit more happier with the pull. Now, will I do it again? I don't know. Um, I think it's just the luck of the draw. I'm really interested to see what other people received um, if they went through this this most recent wave of pins to see if they have pins that are similar to mine. Because previously, um, the pins that everyone were, were receiving in that first run, they were all similar. So I, I'm just curious if this is what we're going to see moving forward. So anyways, I really appreciate you guys for being here. I hope you enjoyed this pin reveal comparison. <laughs> um, Palm does some really great pins. Like I said, all the pins are beautiful. Stained glass are my favorites. Um, really love their pins. If you're interested in their three inch pins or the larger size pins, Palm is my go-to. Um, maybe I just need to pick my own. <laughs> but with that, you guys, we'll go ahead and let you all get started on the rest of your day. I appreciate you stopping by. Like I said, if you haven't had a chance to subscribe to the channel and you like what you see, please go ahead and subscribe. And if you're not ready to subscribe, hey, we get that too. But go ahead and give the video a thumbs up. It'll greatly help the channel. And with that, you guys, we will see you on the next video. Bye, you guys.